All right, I got it all clamped up now, folks. I'm going to stick it in front of the fan to dry, and all I can do is wait for about an hour, maybe more, before I can do anything at all. You can find detailed stitch instructions in my Glock holster vid. What I have here, I hadn't even thought about it, is a Rossi 223 20 gauge combo. And looking at my measurements here on the computer that he sent me, from trigger to barrel and to the end of my stock, it all matches. The only difference is right there in the receiver. And that's easily filled out. So I'm going to take that piece that's wet and soaking and clamp down. I'm going to swap it with this. I'll just leave this one in there overnight, folks, and uh, go from there. He told me to make him an arrow quiver. That's just not my style. i got to try to do something a little bit better than that. So I'll hoe and hum and worry about it and try to get it right. She's dried up. I trimmed this end down just a hair, not where I want it, just close. Took measurements. This is where the end of my barrel is. I've got an inch and a quarter dowel stuffed in there. Wet the end and clamped it so I can get a spot to terminate the end of the scabbard. Oh, hell y'all. I am just running myself ragged. I haven't posted the video just yet, but it'll be up before this. I just had a hunt a couple nights ago that I caught a pig up close, shot it, didn't recover it. I'm calling this pig my ghost hog. So I was up all night, half the night, hunting. Finished my stick, my walking stick project. I'm sure you guys will see that before this. Went straight to this project here. I'm trying to get this done. This is a Wednesday evening. I have a hunt this Friday. I'm trying to get this thing done before I go on that hunt. And now I just got a call. My ghost hog's back. Or another hog. And I've got to go sit in on that property again tonight till midnight. Back up at 6 a.m. in the morning. So I'm getting about five hours of sleep a night right now in preparation for a hog hunt. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Anyway, this thing looks good and dried up. So I have that dowel in here. I took the liberty of just trimming this a little bit, try to get this leather back some so I can see what I'm doing and made sure that I didn't take too much off of it so I wouldn't run into any problems later on just in case I needed that leather. So anyway, I'm gonna pull this apart and I'm gonna start stitching this folks, rough stitching it. Like I said, once again, because I don't have the actual weapon I'm making it for, I am kind of worried. And by the way, make sure if you wet fit something like I did with that 20 gauge rifle that you wrap it in plastic. I was in a rush and I didn't. I pulled that rifle out this morning, folks. My guns are pristine. That thing's covered in rust now. Don't do that. Cover it in plastic first if you're going to actually use an actual weapon for a model.